Good afternoon, Carl William Lund. Hello. Good Hello. afternoon. You're in Berlin. I am in Berlin, sunny Berlin. Eurovision weekend, Berlin. Yeah. First time? This is my first time here. Um, the weather is beautiful today. My ginger skin is slowly frying. You look fabulous, don't worry about that. Thanks. I left my factor 50 at home. <laughs> so you're going to go a bit brown? I'd say more red. <laughs> more lobster. <laughs> Good. So we know you from You Decide, the BBC's national selection show for Eurovision. Yeah. And uh, how was the experience? I mean, you've been asked this question quite a few times, I'm sure. But yeah, yeah can you recap? Um, looking back now, it just seems to be a bit of a blur. It was, it was very daunting. Um, when I found out that I was one of the six, if I just got to that stage, I, I would have been happy. You know, I, I don't have a team, I don't have a management or anything. So I was absolutely blown away that um, I was chosen out of the public selection. The Kentish Town uh, Forum, O2 yeah. Forum, I was quite surprised. I was expecting a really brightly lit TV studio and it was more of a gig venue, which made me feel more comfortable and less nervous. But never, nevertheless, it was the first time I'd sung live on TV. Yes. So yeah, it was, it was quite daunting, but it was a very memorable experience. It was incredible. What do you <laughs> think of the, uh, the win 2016 in Stockholm? So Jamala, Ukraine. I think that was a bit of a surprise for some people because I was on the Euro jury this year I listened to all 43 of the songs and on first listen of Hair Track, I didn't rate quite highly to be honest. However, when we saw the semi-final, hers was the only performance that gave me goosebumps all over and I thought, oh, she could, she could win this. She could be a bit of an outsider. And she wasn't top of the jury vote or the public vote, but she still won and I think that was incredible. I think, I think she's brilliant. And I discovered her back catalogue. I downloaded all their past albums, even the ones in, um, in the Ukraine, which I couldn't understand, but they are absolutely beautiful. Good. I don't understand what she's saying, but I loved it. <laughs> You've got a new album on its way. It's called Oracle. And uh, producing an album is a lot of work. How do you go about it? And talk to us a bit more about the songs in it. Well, yeah, it's called Oracle. It can be a lot of work, but I do, I have my own recording studio at home. So if inspiration was to strike at 4am, I can just dash out of bed and get my ideas down. Um, that cuts a lot of the costs out as well, which is, is, is great for as being an independent songwriter. Um, you, you crowdfunded this one, didn't you? Yeah, I went via Pledge Music, which is a unique crowdfund platform. It allows artists to come closer to the fans and they can really be part of the experience of actual making the music as well and uh, contributing towards the cost of the mixing and mastering and CD duplication, the music videos. It's, you know, it's obviously a costly process. And I didn't really want to go down the route of a major label because you know, I, I wanted to make the music in the way I wanted it to, to be put across. I wanted to, the artwork to look how I wanted it to without a judging uh, music executive battering down the door every day saying change this change that so I'm really proud of it it's been um, it's been a few years in the making it was around 80% complete before the Eurovision you decide show and um, I thought it would be a great time to get it out now that um, I'm doing shows like this and around Europe Good. are we going to hear a few songs of uh, the album this evening at the Eurovision weekend Berlin yeah that's right tomorrow we've got the Eurovision brunch so I'll be performing three tracks I'll be performing Miracle my Eurovision track and uh, my new single Diamonds which is a sort of summery ambient chill out track which I was actually a last minute addition to the album I think just before I was about to close it and send it off to the CD uh, publishers I had a last minute inspiration and then that was uh, added onto the album at last minute and it's going to be the new single I'm, I'm really I'm really proud of it Good. Is, um, is this your favorite single from the album um, I think my favorite song from the album is a track called sleep it's the final track on the album uh, it's a very personal song mm -hmm. it's about my grandfather on my dad's side who I never got to meet um, but it's a very epic uplifting track there's um, there's a chant near the end of it which is about 20 of my voices on it just huge <laughs> um, sounds like a mini choir and yeah I'm really proud of it it was it took a lot of time to to finish I started writing that a couple of years ago and it's great now that I've been able to finish it congratulations on 80% completion yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the 20 <laughs> remaining percent and uh, yeah we look forward to seeing you um, around in Berlin it's always nice to meet you we, we've seen you a couple of times oh, before thank you. 
and uh, yeah, best of luck. Thanks so much. Thank you.